In this video, we're going to show you how to get rid of ants with borax. And we're going to start right now. What's going on YouTube Gardener? It's your boy Sydney from the Naked Gardener channel. After watching this video, hopefully you learned a simple way to get rid of ants by using this bait trap. Now, last year we used a different method where we use a more of a liquid form so that way we can dip the cotton balls in there and uh, put it in certain areas where we saw the ants. But now that we have Sage the cat, we have to be mindful of him and we don't want him to uh, get into it. So we're going to have a bait trap where we're just using the old container, uh, poke some holes through it so that way the ants can get in there, take the bait back to the colony, kill off the colony. Now let's get growing. Okay, now we have some borax and some regular old sugar. And we have some empty containers that we had vegan salad cream in. And I don't know if this was all of them. Or some type of pickle stuff that we got from uh, the uh, farmer's market. So we grab some of this borax. We grab one tablespoon. Drop a few coats of water. And what you want to do, you want to try out your ratio. Uh, we tried the liquid form, uh, and we used the cotton balls to soak it in. But like I said, because we got sage the cat now, we got the for my for him. So after that, we take and sugar. And you want to do this mixture for the simple fact if you just do borax, the ants aren't going to take it. But with the sugar mixed with the uh, borax, they're not going to. They won't be able to detect the uh, borax. Since it's hot, you don't want to add too much liquid for the Texas summer. As it's getting a little bit above about 85 now. We'll do about six to seven spoonfuls with the borax. Can you see how that's looking on there? Get real. Just chop up some of the big chunks. And then once you kind of see it get real ice ball-y, snowy type. That's that number four. Humid, so it's going to clump up like that. And what this borax does, they'll take it to the colony, feed, help feed the colony. It's five or two, six, and if you notice, I didn't cross contaminate from the borax to the sugar, so you want to make sure of that. That looks pretty good. You can't tell what's the borax and what the sugar. I'll do one more. And the reason why we use this container is we have holes all through the sides here that we use from this basically open this container all through there so that way the ants can crawl up in there and get in there. I don't want to put any holes at the top for the simple fact it's been raining a lot uh, here lately and I don't want to get make that all liquefied 
and then they're getting it all hard and syrupy. That way the ants, all they'll do is get stuck. You won't uh, kill the colony itself. This way they'll be able to, once it's dry like this, they'll be able to take it uh, to the colony and feed and kill them all off. Uh, if you don't have any pets, all you have to do is add more water to this, soak the cotton balls and place them wherever you see the uh, ants mostly at. And then now we're going to take, uh, I'm going to do another one of these, take these out to the garden and post there, uh, put the traps there, the bait there, and we'll uh, check it in a few days. So right here is where we're having some big ant problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the container here. And then in about three to five days, we'll come back and check on seeing how the ants are. All right. 